Hey guys, welcome to the One Delightful Podcast. Where we believe life should be simple. But awesome. I'm Katie. And I'm Philip. And we invite you to join us on a journey as we try to start a new business and grow our family. While trying to clear through the clutter of life to create space for what really matters. And trust us, if we can do it, anyone can do it. On today's show... We're going to be highlighting some of our favorite items for the holidays. Christmas is almost here. Yes, Christmas of 2018, and we're going to cover some simple but awesome gifts for people on your list. It's like a giant holiday version of what do you recommend? Oh, yeah. Today's show is sponsored by the One Delightful Holiday Gift Guide. Holiday Gift Guide? Tell me more. So in the link to the show notes, you're going to find a visual to all of these things that we're mentioning today and a few more bonus items. Really? So there's going to be graphics? There's going to be pictures. Is it going to be a .pdf? And maybe some, what are those new doc things that they make now? I don't, not a JPEG. Like a teledoc? No, not a JPEG. What's like it a called? doctor WebMD. No, babe. What's the new thing called? You can save things as a PNG? Yeah, that's like newish, right? I don't know. Okay. So some PNGs, some JPEGs. Where do I get this thing? So if you click in the show notes, there's gonna be a link to this and there's some bonus discount codes as well. Today we're going to be talking about our simple but awesome gift guide to the holidays. And I'm excited. Let me tell you why I'm excited. I'm not one of those people that thinks you have to wait till Thanksgiving to start celebrating Christmas. Right. I think it's the most magical time of year and you should start celebrating as soon as possible. So it's before Thanksgiving. I don't care. Let's talk about, let's talk about the holidays. Let's talk about Christmas. But you also have a hard time buying gifts. I have a miserable time buying gifts, but it doesn't mean that I don't like anticipating getting gifts. Oh, okay. Well, I feel like it was fun to think through this because it made me realize and appreciate some things that I just love. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. You mean stuff like like a hot bowl of soup. Okay, sure. But I thought first we could start the conversation about like gift giving strategy. Because I feel like ours has shifted more recently. Oh, yeah. Don't you think? Um, I think that it's become more formulated as we've thought about it. Yeah. So this year, as you can tell from this podcast, we're trying to pursue simplicity. So I think it's just made me think a little bit more critically about what we're bringing in the house, especially for the kids. And thank goodness for that, because... It's made the house a lot better of a place to exist. Yeah, and I mean, kids can be crap collectors. Watch your tongue. Do you think we'll still get clean lyrics on this? I don't know. Well, okay, so when we, a few weeks ago, went to the Great Wolf Lodge, remember that? I do. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, but they had the kids watch Nickelodeon, right? Right. We think they did. We were asleep. This was in the morning. It was either Nickelodeon or like a Halloween slasher. It might movie. have been ABC Fam. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think I saw somebody get stabbed, but it might have been like a cartoon stab. <laughs> okay, but having the kids watch cable TV reminded me how few commercials our kids actually see. Yeah, that's one of the benefits of Netflix on demand television. Yeah, but like the amount of kids' toys that they're trying to promote, it's like so much plastic. It just, it almost gives me hives. They all make noise, and I, I've i been wondering why I've been itching so much recently. Yeah, so I would say with our, at least giving gifts to our kids, I would say we don't have like a strong strategy, but we're more trying to be on the train of thinking not just of Christmas Day being the bomb diggity, but or like a bomb went off. Yeah, with how much or the stuff bad bomb was, diggity, like a World War One bomb. Right. But making it a great season and maybe like gifts that can extend out, you know, whether it be something fun that they can do with someone. Or maybe being slightly conscious of how many gifts. 
right. they might receive. Yes. Because I feel like now, okay, our, our home and life has gotten a little bit simpler over the last few months, but Christmas is going to result in us bringing an entire car full of stuff back, and I feel like it might take till July to declutter again after Christmas. Right. And I think that we've finally experienced, I would say, the joy of having things streamlined a little bit. And so bringing in a ton of extra stuff, I feel like we know now how much extra stress that could add. Maybe that's where the hives are coming from. Yeah. Well, so like, I don't know if my mom listens to the podcast anymore. Hi, mom. Um, If you do. But she messaged me yesterday and she asked if you wanted a Chemex. Oh, the coffee maker? Yeah. And I said hard no because we just got a French press and we're really happy with it, right? How many simple coffee makers can one use or need? Right. Well, so, but I feel like that's what we're trying to get at this year is thinking about when we're giving gifts, not over cluttering people's lives. And when we're asking things, trying to think of things that will continue to simplify our lives. But still wanting Christmas to be awesome. Yeah. Because there's like nothing, our tagline. Getting good great getting good get I almost said grapes. <laughs> I don't even like grapes. They're That's, a choking hazard. Yeah. But getting good gifts is awesome. And I hope to get good gifts for Christmas. I hope you do too. Right. And the kids. But what does it look like to give good gifts that are awesome but not have so much stuff that it's going to be overwhelming and you're going to be decluttering until July. Right. So what we're hoping with this gift guide is they're simple but awesome gifts to maybe, because you're going to probably give gifts, right? And you're probably going to receive gifts too. Why not give some good stuff? Yeah, or stuff that is significant but doesn't take up any space or stuff that makes you think, I'm thinking of you, but this doesn't take up any space, like real estate on the moon. But I would say I, it makes me think of wedding registry stuff. And do you remember when we got married? I do. It was a blessed day. And we made a wedding registry and people like got stuff off the gift registry and you're like, er, what are you doing? I made a list. But some of those gifts from the registry list have been great gifts, right? Like right. that we still enjoy, but we didn't know that we would enjoy it. So I think there's a little bit of that with gift giving. I think with internet shopping, yeah, holidays have become a lot more, here's the list of things you could buy me, right. buy off that list. Right. Versus, oh, surprise me with something special. But it's hard because you sort of do want the stuff that's on the list. Right. But... It's dumb if it ends up your family members emailing a thread that's like, I'll get Philip the saw. (laughs) I was trying to think of something funny. And I'll get him the other saw. Man, why does Philip want so many saws for Christmas? (laughs) It's usually true. Something Home Depot related. But you know what I mean? It is kind of lame when it's just this formal exchange of like money. But it's for home repair projects, not like bone saws. Okay, but we've gotten, my point is we've gotten away from the idea of thoughtfully giving gifts. I think it's hard too, because sometimes you're shopping for a family member, you don't really know them that well anymore, and you're like, what do I get them? Yeah, Aunt Sally, is she 52 or 22? (laughs) I don't mean like that, but it's like we live far away from our family, so extended family that wants to buy our kids gifts it's hard to figure out what they want without like them asking unless they're your granddad or being offended right because it's like hey cousin steve here's this awesome new pair of sunglasses and steve's like you know that i have an eye patch (laughs) i can't wear these glasses well you didn't even use that moment to spotlight your granddad um, yeah. He does have the gift of gift giving. He is very good at giving. He's he's ninety. He's he turning ninety asks this year. What kids want? But, but they th- always love. Remember pillow? What what? No, it was stuffy dog. Yeah, stuffies, and those were like a hot item that year. I think he just goes to Walmart and goes to the kid appropriate section for each like the age range, and then just like pick something. And yeah. for us, six months of the fruit of the month club. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, granddad. I'd say half of the months are good. 
Yeah. Do we still get that? Oh, it it's only six goes months. for six Got months. It. Okay, because I was like, we haven't seen that in a while. Okay, but I digress. So we're going to be covering gifts, right, Boo Thing? Yeah, you made this awesome gift guide, and it's a collection of some of the things we've talked about this year. It's a collection of some highlights that we're going to give a friend's who are right. selling stuff that yeah. is awesome for you to buy for someone else. Yes. And some of these items are just tried and true items that we were like, we love these things. This would make probably a great gift for most people, you know. So without further ado, here is the 2018 One Delightful Shop Holiday Gift Guide. Now, you've broken it up into sections, right? Yes. So we have gifts for her. Gifts for him. The holiday home. And the holiday children. Those are the children that you just have around the holidays. (laughs) The holiday children, the elves. So we're going to walk section by section through the gift recommendations that you've made for each category. Yeah, you could follow along on the PDF. Oh, download the PDF from the show notes. There are links in the PDF as well. So we've just solved all your problems yeah right? and some of them are amazon prime you can ship that in like a couple of days do you want all of your holiday shopping done lickety split just click buy as we're talking and you'll be done so <laughs> yes and and people will be like those are thoughtful unique gifts they're stylish and as i mentioned some of them do have discount codes so you'll want to check that pdf and i'm just going to say the gifts for him if you bought me any of that stuff, except for the stuff that I already have, <laughs> I'd be pretty excited about this Christmas. Good. Okay. So, the gifts for her. I'm excited about this one. Should I talk about some of these? Should and you then take you... some notes? Well, that's what I'm saying. Is like I feel like what you've done is subliminally mm-hmm. told me what I need to buy for you this Christmas, and so I'm I'm hot to trot. All right. <laughs> I'm excited. Let's get started. Okay. Up. First up is a cool necklace from the Jones Market. Yes. Let me tell you what I know about this, and then you fill in with what's real. Okay. The Jones Market features necklaces that are both stylish and kid-proof. They feature a fabric that can be tugged on by a child and Mm -hmm. not break, and beads that can be put in a child or an adult's mouth. (laughs) Oh, jeez. That are non-toxic, but still look fantastic, draped around your neck, or around your wrist, and if the band gets full of slobber, it dries out because it wicks away moisture. (laughs) I don't think it wicks away moisture, but you pretty much nailed it, because you have got me one of those before. I know, they're great. Um, So they're nursing friendly, so it's it's not like a sub as a baby toy, but it's like tuggable and all that, like you said. So stick it in the freezer, pop it out, and it's also teething friendly. (laughs) And your neck's getting iced at the same time. (laughs) But I do really like those. I actually really love the um, bracelets a lot too, but I just highlighted a necklace in the gift guide. And yeah, so that's a product I've enjoyed for a long time. Next up is another item that I know that you are very excited about. It is, I think what we call it in the fashion industry is an eternity scarf, meaning that it's circular shape, so it goes around forever from our friend Daisy Faye Designs. Yes, Kim's a military spouse, so her husband's in the military, and she has run her business from home for a long time. And women love the eternity scarf. (laughs) And Philip, I guess part of The whole episode is a game of Philip trying to describe items. So I would call it a cowl. Yeah, same difference. Cowl, eternity. Infinity. Oh, infinity. Yeah, I feel like cowl's more like the hot, like, I don't know if infinity scarves are as in in style anymore, I guess infinity is like the secular term and eternal is more (laughs) of the religious way to describe the scarf. Well, but an infinity scarf, I feel like you think of one that wraps a bunch of times. But your neck needs to stay warm this winter. It does. You don't know how much body heat you're losing out your neck. Yeah. So one of these scarves, pass this podcast on to your fancy gentleman caller and let him know that that's what you want for Christmas. Yes. Lots okay. of cute plaid ones. I'm ready to keep moving. Next up, ooh, I'm going to k- stay in the neck face region okay. of the body and tell you about the jade roller. Mm. This is 
a roller. This would be a great stocking stuffer. So imagine painting your face, but instead of painting, you don't apply anything. And instead of it being a knit roller, it's actually a piece of stone that you rub away from your sinuses and it heals everything inside of you emotionally? <laughs> um so I can't say that I have done like a deep dive on the jade roller and what it does, but it's it has lots of benefits and sort of like Philip said, it's this stone that you roll across your face. I don't think it would be offensive to anyone that you would give to because Oh, is it supposed to have a wrinkle reducing well, quality? It can, it can. I think it can reduce wrinkles. I think it can minimize pores. Hey, lovely lady, you're <laughs> so wrinkly. Enjoy this jade roller. It's like painting your face with a rock. But it also is like I feel like it feels really like soothing because it's like cool on your skin. You jade it's, roll constantly. It's a pampering thing. Pamper so. yourself. And they're super cheap. I think the one I link to is the one I have, and it's like $9. It might be $9 now. Anyways, it's under 20 Oh, really? I yeah. thought it was a lot more than no, that. No, no. It's so cheap. And it looks super fancy. So, dudes, I will say it looks a lot more expensive than 9 bucks. So, if you want it to look fancy but not cost you an arm and a leg, Jade Roller. Well, so I got this recommendation from Sherry of Young House Love, and she had a customer, or not a customer, a person message her in and say that her dad is like a, um, what's the word? Some, General contractor? No, somebody that Works does, on an oil rig. <laughs> what's it called? Plastic <laughs> surgery or something. Oh, you're going to say and ship's captain. he said something like, if... If more people use this, it would like put him out of business because he believes it's really effective. So some girl's dad said this will work, but I've been That's really happy with it. That's a strong recommendation. Yeah, yeah, and you look, you're glowing. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna highlight one more item. There's more items on the gift guide, like beauty counter eyeshadow, mm -hmm. like but really a love beauty counter sustainable. Anything turtleneck sweater that you could wear, but know that you're also sustainable. But the last thing that I'm going to recommend that actually that people seem to have really liked are, is an item from one delightful shop. That's your shop, right? That's my shop, boo boo. And I keep you, calling you that today. You've started to make these leather feathered earrings that when I saw you wear them for the first time, I didn't realize you had made them. And I was like, ooh, those are... You were like, bow chicka wow wow. I was like, oh, girlfriend, that, you look like an Indian princess. This is fantastic. Thank you. But anyway, I think that people have really liked those. Yeah. And it might be something you want to get. They've been the hot new fire on our website. For your peeps for Christmas. <laughs> They're going to think, oh, you are so thoughtful. So anyway, so those are our, some of our gift recommendations for her. And make sure check, to check out the full list on the One Delightful Shop Holiday Gift Guide. Are we moving on to gifts for me now? Let's do it. Okay, are you going to describe these? Sure. Philip helped me make this list. and so, But I would also say we're not trying to be sexist. I would say most of the things we highlighted for the women's list are truly women's gifts. Yeah, please do not buy me uh, that women's eyeshadow. Yeah, but a lot of these on the guys list are also an extended version of things you might be able to get a female in your life as well. Because for Christmas... A shamali. <laughs> a shamali. That was from Arrested Development. Oh. <laughs> um... Because really, I think that highlights an important element of Christmas, which is it's about husbands making their wives happy more than vice versa. Yeah, sure, whatever. Okay, so sh sh shall I start? Yeah, <laughs> shan't you do that. Okay, so the first one we have are Moscow Mule mugs. Try saying that five times mm, fast. But I have a question. I know. I think I'd like to see you try to say that five times no. fast. No. Should... Are they Moscow just copper... Mugs, Moscow Mule Mugs. Are I they just copper it. mugs? Are yes. they really Moscow Mule Mugs? They're I don't know. mugs the that are named after the beverage, the adult beverage Moscow Mules. But yes, I believe they are. The true mugs are full copper. 
Yeah, so, well, I think ours are true copper. Do you think so? Yeah, that's it. You okay, don't need to so look it up. That is true. I got these if, the Christmas before last for Philip, and I actually got them monogrammed. And we've. I think I was like, oh, why, you know, this isn't the most glamorous gift. But I would say as far as gifts we've used and enjoyed, they'd be up there. Yeah, I didn't know what to think at first. Yeah, why'd you hate on my gift? Because you bought me six of them. Which we don't have four friends. <laughs> well, you initially, you intended to buy two, but you accidentally bought six. So, no, so I was just I somewhat said, confused. No, I meant to buy four, okay? Okay. Keep going. But they're great. Um, Thank they're, you. They're all copper. They are fancy. And I think they help to keep your beverages cold longer because something about copper insulates or something like that but anyway they look really cool and they look cool on your shelf and they will elevate your friday night if you want to take your friday night to the next level (laughs) that's right so the next one is also something that the both of us use every day and philip gave me this for christmas last year i thought these were gifts for dudes i know but you got a pair because you thought mine were so cool oh yeah that's true okay So they're Beats by Dre. Whenever I say that, I feel like I'm a cool mom. Yeah, that's true. Um, But the point is they are Bluetooth headphones. And everyone in the hip-hop community cringes a little bit. So I feel like Bluetooth headphones have been life-changing. Is that fair to say? Yeah, I didn't see the purpose of them, but now that I have some, I use them all the time. Yeah, I I might need to make, like, charms for them so I can wear them as, like, a socially appropriate necklace. So that when they come off your ears and are dangling around your neck, people think, oh. Nice lanyard. Maybe like the Jones Market. These are things that a baby could chew on. (laughs) Well, but that, the Beats headphones are one of my, like, life hacks, basically. I put them in when I'm blow drying my hair or... And the reason why I found myself needing these was a few years ago, I was trying to listen to something and I'd have to stay hooked up to the computer or hooked up to my phone if I was like needed headphones. Or for me, I'm working a table saw um, and was tired of getting tripped up and getting my fingers cut off. Yeah, but podcasts are a great way to pass the time. They're a great, great way to do dishes Right. It's a great way if you're trying to show that you're paying attention to a loved one, but really you want to zone out, you could have one earbud in and be sort of listening, but sort of doing what you want to as well. Right. right? So we're kind of poking fun at that. But in all honesty, sometimes we half listen all the time. This is what we talked about last time we covered this as well. But I think. I personally think it's okay as a mom, if your kids are safe, to have one ear in, one ear out, if it's like mindless playing things. Do you know what I mean, Philip? Yeah, I'm not stuff saying... like when they're asking questions about like the meaning of life and like what really matters. <laughs> I don't mean They're trying to talk day, about their feelings. Every day. Anyways, these are great. I think most people in your life will Three enjoy Three quarters these. of the day, most days. Okay, so there's that. Um... All right, give us one more good one. Well, I think you need to explain the Ryobi one. Do you want to explain that? I'd be happy to do that. Because this, go for it. I'm not going to say this is exclusively a male gift because that would be majorly sexist. That's true. But if you were thinking about buying a gift for me, which hint, hint, if anybody is thinking about buying a gift for me, And I found under the Christmas tree um, a bunch of Ryobi One power tools. I would be very excited. So, And why is that, Philip? These are power tools that all use the exact same battery. So you can have one set of batteries and tools that serve all different functions. So I have a circular saw, a jigsaw, a nail gun, um, a trimmer, a leaf blower... Um, I have hedge trimmers. I have a tree trimmer. Hey, I have a question. I'd still like an um, impact driver. I have a drill. How long have you had these for? I've used the same batteries for probably four or five years now. The funny thing is it took me 
that long to understand this system. But I'm so glad you like it and that it has simplified your life. And I like this version more than other brands because of how many different kinds of tools there are that all use the same batteries. Yeah, I mean, it's a great idea. And I feel like it fits in with the idea of the simplicity thing. So you get a starter pack that maybe has three or four tools and a few batteries, and then you can just keep adding tools one by one, and they all go with the same set. It's awesome. Awesome. We have some more suggestions for guys on that PDF we mentioned, but we're going to move on. The next category we're going to highlight are gifts for the kiddos. The kiddos, just like Joanna Gaines says. I know that you were thinking Christmas really is just all about buying gifts for adults. But no, actually, there are children that are very excited about Christmas that you do not want to forget about, lest, <laughs> lest you crush them in their hopes and dreams. We're going to highlight four things that we're loving for kids. And we're going to be real and say we're thinking about kids basically that are our age. So if you have teenagers or infants, these might not apply. Yeah, some of them would. So let's get started. All right. Okay, so the first item is Shared Joy. It's She's on Etsy, and she makes these really cute bows. And I feel like they'd be a really cute stocking stuffer. Our daughter actually really likes stuff like that. I know not all kids do, but Carter's one of those little girls that enjoys cute clothes, bows, right? Yeah, she would love it if she got one of these. So this in her stocking would be super cute. And we have a coupon code for her shop on the PDF. I think that an, another thing that our daughter would like are these Cuddle Kind dolls. Yeah, she has a couple of those. You know that? Yes. They're adorable hand-knit stuffed animals that are... I'd call them hipster stuffed animals. Yeah, I know, because they're kind of like, they call themselves dolls, but they're really more stuffed animals, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like a stuffed animal-doll combination. Is that what Carter was playing with in that video we watched of her yesterday? It could be. She just gets little blankets out and creates these oh, very so elaborate cute. scenarios. and But they, it, that always ends up with them getting put to bed in a very organized fashion. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we have a couple of these, and they have two different sizes. And did you know that that's actually one of those companies that they give back as well? So every doll you purchased, then I think 10 meals go to feed a kid like somewhere. I don't know the details, but oh, that's awesome. it's one of those companies that gives back. So I highlighted a cute one, which is these adorable little flamingo ones, and I think they actually might be sold out right now. That specific one. Sorry. But all of them are adorable. Carter has the unicorn one and a little plaid one, a fox, I think. Yeah, yeah. I feel like opting for the unicorn. That's a safe. That's safe. That's bet. always a win. That's a safe bet. Okay. So the next item is Usborn Books. So Usborn Books is, you might see them in toy stores because they do have like a line at toy stores and then they have a line that they sell through direct sales women. And I've put a link to a girl that I know Kelsey's shop, but I really do love their products. The two that I like the most are okay. the kinds where... You, it's like a simple Where's Waldo. Yeah, those are good. Whereas Where's Waldo could crush the spirit of a small child because he's very hard to find. Right. These books have things that you have to find, but they're pretty easy to find, even for someone like me. Easy-ish. Have you done these lately? Yeah, it's like find the like 12 beach umbrellas and like 11 of the 12 are all in a big group. Okay, well... Do you know that Carter's been enjoying doing this, the bug one lately, but then there's certain pages that she can't look at because it freaks her out too much? Yeah, that some of the illustrations are very realistic. and the uh, uh, But the other kind that I like are okay. the kind where it gives you um, th fun things to draw oh, and then shows you how too. to draw them. Yeah. So they have a lot of cute interactive books for kids, and there's even like chapter books, stuff like that. I really have been happy with all of my products from them. I can't. Like, you probably can't go wrong with anything on their website. True that in a bag of chips. The last item that we're going to highlight for kids on our gift guide today is the Sawyer and Finn clothing line. They have some super cute clothing for little boys and little girls. 
Oh, unisex. They do. Some of their holiday stuff is already sold out, though. But I felt like some of their raglan tees, especially, I highlighted that in the image online, are super cute and align with kind of our mission to simplify and stuff like that. Because they're fun tees. They're fun tees. But they have a message written explicitly on them. Right. But they're not like... I'm not a not big, explicit like that. Like, give us an example. Okay, of a well, I'm not a big fan of a graphic tee. Not explicit, like. <laughs> Can I finish my thought? Naughty boy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of like a graphic tee that projects something on a kid that they might not want to project. Like, I'm trying to think of something funny. Like, I'm gonna be president when I grow up. Or my parents won't love me. Yeah. Well, nobody has a shirt like that. But that type of... Yeah, that's way too many words. Something like weird... How can I communicate that same thought in less words? Okay. So, or like, I don't know. Stuff like that. But I do like... POTUS or homeless? (laughs) POTUS or homeless. (laughs) Okay. Um, The ones that I highlighted are super cute. It says... Be strong, be courageous, be kind. I think that's like her signature. Oh, those are cool. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like that's something you would want your kids to be about. And so I'm all about putting something like that on their chest. <laughs> I don't know. The POTUS or homeless thing. I feel like that. <laughs> yeah. No, these these shirts are awesome. And the messages are cool. Yes. It wouldn't surprise me if our kids ended up getting a few of these for Christmas. Yes. Super cute. Our last category is the holiday home guide. And I wanted to do this because I love home stuff and holiday stuff. So here we are. It's like the marriage of the two. Yeah. So we're just going to highlight two things, um, but there's more suggestions in the graphic. And one is Noonday, which Noonday, I feel like I should have pulled up everybody's mission statements. But Noonday is one of those awesome companies that they... Exist to keep it around noon every day. It's like an anti-daylight savings time I love Philip because he wants to keep the podcast tight, but he wants to say random comments. Right, Bill? People come for the inspiring ideas and they stay for the random comments. And laughter. Okay, so... Noonday, they work with artisans around the world. And so they empower women around the world. And then it's sold through probably mostly women in the U.S. So I love a lot of their items. A lot of their bracelets and stuff are pieces that I've owned. But I wanted to highlight I love their um, their pom-pom garland. Because you know I love a good pom-pom. True. Don't I? Oh. I'm a little pom-pom crazy. You're like... And it's tassel. like you're addicted to cheerleading. <laughs> so I highlighted that, and I know a couple Noonday reps, but Brooke um, is on our mention list, and she said if you email her, she'll do free shipping over 50. Whoa. Woo. Okay, so I'll put a link to that. And then the other item Take I... Take that, USPS. ...wanted to highlight was I... I Do I talk about oils much on here? Not really. There was an oil there. I know at least one time I was like sniffing an oil during recording and you were like getting weirded out. I really do love oils and I, you know, vegetable oil, (laughs) canola oil, olive oil, avocado, crude crude oil. (laughs) (laughs) So essential oils. Oh, yes. You do like those too. But they're a great way to not use weirdo, but weirdo fragrant fragrances in your home true yeah yeah which are not good for you so we lean heavily on essential oils on the one hand and febreze on the other (laughs) (laughs) no febreze so i do use oils around the house to you know have a good smell or two Uh, you're gonna be breaking the christmas spirit out soon right yeah but Amanda from Joyful Home Design, she has 10% off for you guys, and she makes these cute oil carrier bags, so you can take your oils with you. So this is kind of a no, home... that's good, because I feel like the one thing that's been standing in the way of you taking your oils on the road <laughs> is a fashionable way to carry them. Problem solved. Yeah, there you go. We're going to be smelling Christmas spirit everywhere. Well, and a lot of people maybe like have a place they get 
their oils, you know, a dealer, an oil dealer, <laughs> but they don't have a bag for them, you know? Like the oil dealer is just dealing out the oils. Yeah. They Not don't... any sort of, so they distribute oils, but then you have to figure out how to carry them around your, yourself. Well, they're in containers, but you know what I mean. It's not like they give you oil like, and you're okay. like, what do I do with Open this? up your hands. <laughs> oh, gosh, we're so what strange. What am I going to do with this? Okay, so there's a few absorbed. more suggestions on there, but we're going to wrap up. That's the end of our holiday gift guide. So there's other gifts that we are really excited about this yes. holiday season that we didn't have time to talk about on today's show. So make sure and go in the show notes and download the holiday gift guide so that you can get all of these great ideas and links to purchase them ASAP. You'll be totes inspired. That's going to do it for this week's episode of One Delightful Podcast. You can find links to this gift guide that we mentioned in the show notes or on our website, onedelightfulshop.com. And if you liked what you heard, why don't you mosey on over to iTunes and leave us a rating and review. It would be super helpful. Just, you It'd know. It'd be like your Christmas gift to us. Yeah, your gift to us. And I was going to say also, people can shop our Amazon link. So we have a link in the profile where you can shop to support our podcast in a little way. And seriously, if you want to find some delightful gifts for women of all ages, you should head on over to One Delightful Shop and go to the accessories section. There's awesome stuff there.